Hello there, this is Ant from the Referee Forum. Um, if I, well, I don't know. In that little sentence, if I come across as sounding sad or depressed, I'm not depressed, that's not the right word, but I am definitely sad. Uh, if you've been following the Facebook or Instagram over the past couple of days, I've been sharing these comments of the day, and the theme of the most recent ones has been Club Marks. Now, for those of you probably outside of England or even the UK, you you might not get how how important club marks are in England for a referee's promotion and progression. So just in case you are listening from further afield, I'll explain exactly what they are and what they're used for. Um, club marks are when you go out as a referee, you do your job as a match official, and at the end of the game, the two clubs that you've just officiated will submit to the league secretary uh, a mark for your performance. Now, that sounds great. It sounds like all of the, the things that you would want, the clubs to feed back on referees, and, and sure, why not? In a perfect world, that would be used to improve the referees um, because they'd go out and get the improvement that, uh, that the clubs recommend if you can see a pattern in the information that the clubs provide and so on and so forth. However, as has been proven time and time again, club marks uh, in England are not subjective it's uh, they're not objective at all they're entirely subjective uh oftentimes the <laughs> the club mark is submitted as part of the match report by someone that wasn't even at the game that you've just refereed um which is absolute madness when you think about these marks are used to decide whether or not a referee gets promoted or not if like me you're a referee on the promotion scheme you want to go up to the next level of match officiating club marks have a weighting of about 40 or 50 percent depending on where you are um to be taken in as an average over the course of the season all of the clubs that submit these club marks will uh submit them to the league secretary who will average them out and you will be sat in a banding a, B, C, D, or E. A being the best, yeah, and E boy. being the worst. Now, this, this sounds great. It sounds like it's it would work, and it's fantastic. But unfortunately, there are countless stories and anecdotes of referees that have been around the block, shall we say, and they know their club marks even before the, the first ball has been kicked because these club marks will... Um, they will reflect a performance of the last time that the referee was there and maybe gave a last minute penalty or sent someone off or, you know, did the right thing that the referee should do as per law. But because it affected the game negatively for this club, well, this referee doesn't deserve a mark higher than 61. Why 61? Well, anything lower than generally a 60 has to be accompanied by a written match report as to why you are marking the referee below the required um, sort of level for a match official. Now, these club secretaries often can't be bothered um, writing anything extra, so they'll just mark them one mark above that that bit that needs the, uh, the, the extra information. So uh, they probably would want to mark the referee a one. That would require additional writing, so they go, nah, do you know what, what's the lowest we can give? without putting in any extra effort, a 61, and then that 61 will go in. Um, <laughs> which, uh, you know, fine, I understand, but that if that's the case, all of the club marks should be taken with a huge pinch of salt. They should not be so heavily weighted towards the prospect of a referee getting promoted or not. It's just absolute madness, and, and the fact that when I put these comments out, referees from uh, from Scotland, from Australia and New Zealand, Scotland said, well, we did away with club marks for referee progression 10 years ago because we saw that the clubs were doing this. We saw that it was an objective. We saw that the winning team would mark high and the losing team would mark low or a certain referee would get the same mark from a certain club regardless of the outcome of the match because 
of historical performances by that referee to that club. So we did away with them. Australia said they did away with them 20 years ago. So why are England sticking with club marks to decide whether or not a referee gets promoted? Or indeed, if a referee is at a certain level, to decide whether they get relegated if they have to move down a level? Well, the other waiting for a referee's promotion or not comes from observations and assessments by the FA's official observers and assessors. Now, if you are in a part of the world, a part of the country, where I am, for example, finding an observer is like finding gold. They pretty much don't exist. As I mentioned earlier, I am looking to get promoted this season. I've asked about being observed, getting uh, observations. There just aren't the observers to go out and assess all of the referees that are going for promotion. So I asked the question, well, what, what if I don't get the required amount of observations in before the end of the season? I was told that we will use club marks only to determine whether a referee is promoted or not. And that has really surprised me. Um, I mean, I know that the situation is dire in terms of the number of referees dropping out and the number, clearly, of observers and assessors also leaving the game is having a massive impact on whether referees uh, can actually be observed by someone who knows what they're talking about. Because don't forget, the, the club marks come from people that have never taken, in, in most cases, have never taken a referee's laws of the game uh, exam. They've probably never refereed a competitive game of football in their life. But they are being asked to assess a referee's performance based on whether they feel that the referee had a good game or not. And that could be something as simple as like, oh, well, I noticed the referee and a good referee should not be noticed during a game of football, so I'll mark him or her down. I mean, that, that's the sort of reasoning people that do club marks have in determining whether or not a referee gets a good mark or not. And for everyone else in the world that has done away with club marks for the purpose of referee promotion or relegation, it seems a crazy thing to do, to have these these clubs marking referees. And in some cases, having the, the hopes of promotion or relegation lie entirely upon them. I don't know what the answer is other than get more observers and assessors. But as it stands, the rest of the world is 10 years, 20 years ahead of the English in terms of how we assess and progress the referees that want to climb the ladder. (sighs) Wow. I'm sure you've got your own opinions on this. Uh, This is one of the very um, kind of hot topics for referees. It always will be because it uh, has a huge part on whether or not you know, you, you climb the ladder or you're stuck referee in Sunday League. So if you do have an opinion, and I'm sure you do, drop yours in the comments of this video, wherever you're watching it, and we'll have a chat, we'll have a discussion. I aim to answer every uh, comment that gets left, uh, whether you like what I say or not. Uh, chances are, I mean... I answer uh, a lot of comments a lot of the time a lot of people I agree with and if I disagree I'll tell you I disagree and I'll tell you why I disagree and you may not like the way I tell you or you may not like what I say but the chances are you you tune into to what I say and you you'll engage with the videos and you'll engage with the comments and all that sort of stuff because it's 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 good it's open discussion I think that's what's missing from from the official kind of VFA. They st- they still seem to do everything behind closed doors and in secret. Why can't we have these conversations in the open? 
If anyone can answer that, please drop it in the comments. I would love to know because that is something I've got absolutely no idea why. It's such, it's shrouded in secrecy and mystery and smoke and mirrors and shrouded in darkness. But why is that? Why can't refereeing be a bit more open and transparent? I mean, maybe this is questions for another video, but I'll just say thanks for listening to this and uh, I'll see you on the next video.